Today we're gonna do uh, Toyota Celica GT 1982 rear drum uh, brake pad change and wheel cylinder uh, replacement. So this is how you do it. You rem remove the drum drum brake after you unscrew all the bolts. Of course, you need to do a proper jacking. Um, make sure it. It won't fall on you think safety and now here's the tools I'm gonna be using the brake pad it's zero four four nine five two two zero nine zero it's Toyota and then for wheel cylinder uh, it's four seven five five zero one four zero two zero and then this is my equipment I'm gonna be using uh, brake pad uh, parts cleaner brake cleaner caliper grease and some tools make sure you have this the flute nuts uh, for the uh, fluid uh, system and then the 9 the 10 millimeter and 8 millimeter and the, some ratchet eight and nine two and the brake pads and sanding okay you're gonna remove the front brake first and then you're gonna do the revert uh, the other side so we do the First, you're gonna do remove the spring. This is the hard part. Cut. Okay, you're gonna remove the return spring. After you remove the return spring, then you're gonna remove the returner spring. I use my pliers, get a good grip, and tight, and push, and release. Where is it? Like that. Just like so. Oh, by the way, make sure you're wearing gloves for safety reason. Always. Okay. This brake pad, front brake pad. Okay, now we're gonna do the rear pro, uh, brake pad. Same thing. Remove the retainer spring. Push and hold and twist until you get it out. Like so. What I do so I don't get confused I do a marking that one is the, my front front side that is my rear, rear side uh, spring holder okay now see Okay, you're gonna remove. Where's my return screen? Here, here, in here. See that? That's how they I do it. Okay, now I'm gonna remove the handbrake. Okay, use your long nose. And your flyers. It's hard. Oh, wait. See this? This is another spring that you need to remove. I guess the key is to remember when you disassemble it 
Do you remember how to put it back? Okay, now. Oh, wait. This is the adjuster. Okay. done so this is for my handbrake this is the rear pad now as you can see I have a leak so that's the reason why I need to change the cylinder wheel okay okay to remove your fuel Uh, for, for the for the brake fluid uh, fluid uh, tube, you use a flare nut wrench set. Uh, and this particular example, I'm I'm using a 10 millimeter. Okay. Make sure, uh, be careful to make a dent or bent your fuel line. Oh, not fuel line, fluid line. Kink. Okay. And now, I'm gonna move, remove the nut, uh, the bolt on the wheel cylinder. Okay, remember your up and down. What's it gonna again? Eugene? The down loosey uppy tidy. Okay, thank you. Because it's facing the other direction, so you're not facing, you're facing the opposite way. Okay, see? This is an old one. I think this is like uh, more than 20 years has never been replaced. So it's it's time. So just like so. See the drip? I'm gonna go like this. Uh, some people remove this one. Okay. It's your style. So where's my number eight? My number eight is Tighten the back, hand tight first for security. Okay, now the bolt goes in, hand tight first. So you can get a good fit and adjustment. Put back the beating, make sure it's clean. Tight, all hand tight first. Okay, 
so I use my 10 millimeter to secure the line because it's leaking untied first like I said is it loose And then I'm gonna go over the bleed, uh, fluid bleeding later. No bubble on your, no air on your brake supposed to be. Okay, now everything is tight. Okay, see that adjustment, adjustment, guys, adjustment. After I remove everything, uh, spray the brake parts cleaner to remove some dust. And then you use your sun, sandpaper where you see the contact point. You have to sand it a little bit. All five points, I think, or six. Three on the back, three in the front. Okay, so you, you, this prevents anti-squeak. Then you can apply the grease, uh, grease brake grease, or uh, you can use the other one anti anti-squeak, the orange, uh, the pink one or orange. Okay, after you um, clean the the points where the brake shoe make contact, so you put anti-squeak to prevent it from squeaking. Maybe you, if you don't want to put, you can, but me, I hate noise. Okay, this one, you need to remove the clip, but this one is the hard thing, okay? It's really giving, uh, so you do whatever, you know, just don't make sure you don't bend the clip, or else you're going to buy another one. The brake shoe comes with two, but... At least you saved. If you need it. Ah, there you go. Finally. See, this is your. Oh, there's another one. Okay, you have to pry it to make it open. So you can put it on the new brake pad. Okay. Here's another pin that I need to, it's a challenge, so I pry it a little bit, it takes me time to do it, okay, see, just like so, and pull, done, oh. then you're gonna put it back. Okay, now we're gonna put back what we remove. So, it's just like so. Don't forget the washer. I can't hold it. <laughs> Come on, washer. dude be practical use your hand 
remove your gloves okay so now you're just gonna insert the new pin okay if you notice this is a pry pin this is the new pin and this is how we're gonna do it we'll see if this thing works voila it works okay you pry a little bit in the so you won't get loose okay done now you're gonna do the other part okay just like so here's the new pin Your grip. You know, hopefully, it won't go. It won't go anywhere during my driving time. Okay, now it's back. So I put that back first. So we're gonna do you're gonna do the back shoe first and then the front okay the sequence before is we do the removing it the fur the front and then the back when then when you're putting it back the back and then the front okay there's um uh, uh, forgot the name of this uh, assembly this is for the brake, handbrake, okay? Uh, return, uh, retaining spring for handbrake, don't forget. Just like so. See, I think I made the boo-boo. I should be using the other side. Okay, see that? See, boom, and then boom, just like so. Ah, see, make sure it's all the way in, okay? Make sure it's all the way in. There you go, see, it's all the way in now. See that? Okay. Okay. Since I have, we have it um, disassembled everything almost. Since uh, now I'll do my cleaning on my uh, adjuster lever. Okay. Just like so, unscrew it. Spray it. Okay, you dry it down dry it out then you can apply again the grease portion maybe not too much just a coat maybe it's good and then you're gonna tighten it back okay Later, I will be adjusting the front and back shoe. I don't know if I have enough time to show it to you. But you get the idea. 
Okay, I put the handbrake spring retainer, but I forgot to put the adjuster lever, so I have to un undo and now put it back. Okay, just like so. See, yes, your return retaining adjuster. Okay, so I'm ready. So, what you're gonna be using is my holder spring. We're almost okay. Uh, we I made a mistake uh, first on the, on the spring and then the adjuster lever. Um, now I have to disassemble it again to put this handbrake okay so it's hard to put the handbrake so you just saw the finished product so I'm gonna put back the spring again wait the lever first okay now I'm getting it right, okay, just like so, and then the spring, this is how you do your do-it-yourself thing, you make a mistake along the way and then you correct it, so now we're almost done just like so okay we're gonna put back the returner spring to hold the brake pad under there so um, you can see I'm having a hard time again pushing this okay just like so then and then turn boom ta-da nice okay now after I do some cleaning and then put some uh, grease on the on my return spring so I'm gonna put it back and uh, getting ready to put the hook it attached to the front shoe okay this is our front front shoe gonna do the the small spring I, I forgot how what it's called so I'm gonna put it like so Make sure your adjustment is good or else it's not gonna work. Should be going on this. So it should be on this. Uh -huh. See, I'm having a hard time. This spring should be behind it. That spring, so. Let me do some maneuvering. Okay, I made some adjustment. So you're gonna do you attach both drums first on that uh, rear spring for the brake pad shoe, so they they will hold each other. Okay, gonna. I'm having difficulty on the lower spring to uh, to attach it. Now I think I got the technique. So what we're gonna do is put back the retaining spring or not retaining the holder spring. Okay, and then now 
you do just like so same thing so it's a tedious job but once you get it done I think you'll be okay okay one more pieces my friend where's my all around long nose just like so done now we're gonna do the adjustment wait you're gonna sh okay now this is the hard part I'm putting back the spring uh, the return spring so make sure everything is tight okay see I'm having a hard time putting it, pulling it to the other shoe. <clears throat> so you know, you get the point. Okay, another way, another way, huh? That's why you use an eye protector, guys. I can't stretch that much. Okay. That spring, return spring, will go to that point. Okay. We're almost done on pulling. So if you see this wooden uh, vice grip or quick grip, it's just like uh, my son idea. It's like a C clamp to push the pin in okay and then boom Ta -da! we're done we just have to remove it and we're just gonna do our adjustment okay now after everything is done we uh, we're gonna do a, I will do a recap but for now I'll do a, an adjustment on the adjuster make sure see you see how it turns you pull the flat screw down so what it is is you're trying to make the broke broke uh, brake shoe go like that so when you put your brake down you have enough drag just make sure it's just barely touching the drum so enough pre-wheeling to do it okay okay I think that's that's good enough okay see here the click then put it back again I'm gonna do a final check my technique I'm gonna put this here okay always crisscross so you get a good fitting on the drum That's my style. Maybe you have your style. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna do a turn. See? Still loose still loose so I need to make an adjustment again and the adjuster gonna, okay since the we're done with the adjusting so we just do a visual check of everything that we put back make sure we did not left any unturned uh, parts meaning everything if we remove 10 
nuts we should be putting back 10 not 9 not 11 so we get the return spring we get the adjuster lever we get the um, uh, pin holder front and back and then that spring is the bottom return spring okay so we're just gonna be closing it and make sure you have your handbrake there and I think everything is ready and right ready to close the the brake so put back the brake drum just like so and now we're gonna do since we re, re, uh, replace the cylinder wheel cylinder uh, we need we're mandated to uh, let the air out in the system so we we're gonna be doing the brake uh, bleeding fluid brake bleeding so it will be uh, no air in our system so that conclude the presentation hope you like it and i'm not a professional i'm just trying to share what we experienced me and my son on removing the rear brake drum brakes pad and the wheel cylinder we did the front disc brake and uh, we just missed it so maybe i just show it to you the picture and then maybe later on if i do to change it again i'll video it uh, thank you for watching good day